Ang map ay easy lang. Basta't alam mo kung paano sumunod sa mga rules and regulations nito. For this video, we are going to start with the matrix series. Part 1. Definition and Basic Terminologies Discrete Mathematics for BSIT What is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. So, hihimayin natin tong formal definition na to. So, sa mathematics kasi, basta't binigyan ka ng isang sentence, it is considered to be a formal definition. Yung bawat word sa loob nun, yung mga keywords, ay may meaning or may ibig sabihin na dapat mong tandaan para lalo mong maintindihan kung ano yung nasa loob nito. So, ang isang matrix daw ay isang rectangular array of numbers. So, simulan muna natin doon sa word na rectangular. Alam natin sa, sa geometry, when we say rectangular, ito ay four-sided uh, polygon. So, pwedeng uh, pahaba, pwedeng pataas, pwedeng pantay yung length at saka yung width. Diba? So, rectangle. Now, yun namang sinasabi na array, uh, ito ay uh, grupo ng mga number. Okay, sa array of numbers. Kasi yung numbers, there are two kinds of numbers. Yung numbers na alam natin yung value, yun yung mga constants. At saka yung numbers na hindi natin uh, agad alam yung uh, value and those are variables. So, yun yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. So, uh, naka-arrange uh, naka siya as an array at saka ang laman niya ay mga numbers. So, define muna natin kung ano ibig sabihin kasi may formal definition din yung array. An array is an ordered series of arrangement. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabing rectangular array of numbers, yung mga numbers daw hindi lang basta isinaksak doon. So, ito ay naka-order. Ordered series of arrangement. Ibig sabihin natin sa ordered series, hindi siya pwedeng bali-balik ta rin. So, kapag ka kung ano yung number yung nauna, doon lang siya. Kung ano yung pangalawa, doon siya sa pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat, etc., etc. So, napakahalaga yung definition na to. So, sabi natin, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers. Yung mga numbers daw naka-arrange in a rectangular way at yung array na yon ay ordered series. Ibig sabihin, yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya ay hindi pwedeng magkabali-baliktad. As an example, we have matrix A, yun yung papangalan natin sa kanya. A matrix is referred to as uh, or named using a capital letter. So, we have this and this is an example. So, kung papansinin mo, yung mga number, hindi yun basta nalang nakasaksak dun, di ba? So, nakalinya siya na parang military. So, meron siyang linya, meron siyang nakaayos siya dito na tuwid. At saka dito din, di ba? Nakaayos siya na tuwid. So, this arrangement, yung nakahiga na ganyan, so we have 1 half and negative 1, siya ay ordered, ibig sabihin hindi siya pwedeng maging baliktad, hindi pwedeng maging negative 2 at 1 half. So, kapag naka, ang given sa'yo ay 1 half and negative 1, yun na yun, hindi siya pwedeng magkapalit. So, ang tawag dito sa ayos na to ay row. So, naka-row siya. So, kung mapapansin mo in this particular matrix A, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 rows. Yung arrangement naman na patayo, okay, so here we have, pag kabinasa natin, start tayo sa taas, 1 half, 4, negative 3, 0, is referred to as a column. So, yan. So, and if we are going to notice, dito sa matrix A, we have two columns. Itong grupo na to, tsaka itong grupo na to. Matrix A has four rows and two columns, as, me uh, as mentioned uh, previously. Thus, the dimension of matrix A is 4 by 2. So, yun yung, uh, ito yung new term natin, yung dimension. So, meron tayong terms kanina, yung array, okay, which is an ordered series of arrangement. Tapos, meron tayong binanggit naman dito yung dimension, o yung laki ng matrix. So, ang laki ng matrix ay... Uh, 
binibigay sa pamamagitan ng pagbilang ng kanyang rows at saka ng column. So, pag sinabing, what's the dimension of matrix A? It's 4 by 2 kasi it has 4 rows and 2 columns. So, yun, dimension. Now, each number inside the matrix is called an element or an entry. So, bawat laman daw ng A, ang tawag doon ay element or entry. So, to illustrate, ayan, let's encircle one of the elements, itong positive one. So, yan yung tinatawag na element or entry. So, um, in this example, A, how many entries do we have? So, we have eight entries. Now, eto na yung notation kasi uh, i-introduce ko na kayo sa notation na ginagamit sa isang matrix. Kasi pag gumagawa ka ng program, ba, BSIT ka or BSCOMSI ka, when you make a program, yung mga, yung mga mathematical uh, operations natin doon, tapos marami tayo. So, kasi pag nag, nagko-compute tayo or gumagawa tayo ng program, hindi, we don't refer to only one matrix. So, we have several matrices. Kaya maraming iba't-ibang mga elements, iba't-ibang mga rows and columns. That's why meron tayong notations na ganito. The matrix A is composed of elements A, I, J. Okay? Where I is the number of rows and J is the number of columns. So, sabi dito, pagka daw sinabi natin na matrix A, ang matrix A ay binubuo ng mga elements na ang general term ay A, I, J. Yung I ay yung number of rows at yung J yung number of columns. So, merong reminder dito, remember that the number of rows is always mentioned first. Lagi na na siya. Okay, so yon. When we say element 2, 1, we are talking about element 4 in the matrix since it is in row 2 and column 1. So, sabi dito, o oh, sige, meron ka matrix A. Tapos, ang laman niya ay 1 half, negative 1, 4, 1, negative 3, square root of 3, 0, at 2. So, we, what is element 2A? I'm sorry, what is element A to 1? Ang gagawin mo lang, titingnan mo yung dito yung number of row at saka yung number of column. So sabi niya, nasa row 2, column 1. So hanapin mo row 2, so row 1, row 2. So ito 'yon, nandito siya. And then yung column niya, column 1. So nasa unang column. So pagka nag-cross ka diyan, row 2, column 1, ang nasa gitna ay yung 4. So, kaya yung sinabi dito, we are referring to element 4 pag sinabi natin element A to 1. So, pag pinapakita natin dito, pag sinabing, oh, what is, uh, what is the element equivalent to or equal to A3, 2? Diba? So, nasa third row, second column, we are referring to the square root of 3. So, isa pa, what is the element associated to A4, 1? So, ito yung A41. Nasa fourth row, first column, and that is equal to zero. The next terminology na pag-aaralan natin ay tinatawag na square matrix. So, by definition, a square matrix has equal number of rows and columns. So, pareho. Pareho yung bilang ng row. Pareho yung bilang ng column. Uh, parang kung tatandaan natin yung geometry natin pag sinabi natin square, yung sides niya. Pareho, di ba? Pareho ng size. So, yung, yung mga apat na sides ng square. So, yun din naman yung makikita mo dito. So, B is an example of a 2 by 2 matrix. Bakit? Kasi, dalawa yung rows niya, dalawa din yung columns niya. So, 2 by 2. Tapos, yung uh, matrix C naman is a 3 by 3 matrix kasi tatlo yung rows, tatlo din yung column. So, syempre, by, uh, by pattern, alam nyo na siguro pagka pinagawa ko kayo ng uh, matrix D, which is 4 by 4, at saka matrix E, which is 5 by 5. So, yun yung mga examples ng square matrix, where equal ang uh, number of rows and columns. So, medyo simple yung, uh, yung definition na yan, and uh, easy to understand. The other kind of uh, matrices Yan, mga simple uh, matrices to. 
So, kung mapapansin, it's the, ang example niya, it's not really very complicated. Itong matrix B na to, ang tawag dito ay column matrix, simply because it only has one column. Yan. Meron naman siyang dalawang row. So, pwede ding tawagin na, na column matrix yung pagtatlo siya. So, basta't isa lang mahaba siya na ganun, ang tawag sa kanya column matrix. So, it can be two rows or three rows or four rows, etc., etc. Basta isang mahaba, it is referred to as a column matrix. Now, another example naman, yung C naman, ang tawag natin dito ay row matrix. Kasi isang row lang siya. So, uh, pwedeng pagkahaba-haba yan kasi magkakaroon siya na napakaraming columns. It's possible. Pwedeng dalawa lang din, pwedeng tatlo, apat, lima, etc. But ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, isang row lang siya. Kaya ang tawag sa kanya ay row matrix. So, that's the difference between a column and a row matrix. So, kita naman sa itsura, di ba? Column matrix row matrix. Finally, for this particular video, ito yung final uh, definition natin. Meron tayong referred to as equal matrices. This is the formal definition. Two matrices, A, whose elements are A, I, J, and B, whose elements are B, I, J. O, tinan nyo ha, matrix A, A yun, matrix B, B yun. So, are said to be equal. Of course, this is our equal sign. Dati na natin pinag-aralan. First year pa lang, diba? Uh, first sem. Pag equal sign, o oh, yun, yun yung ating uh, symbol for the word equal. So, pagka meron kang ganito, it means A is equal to B. If and only if. Okay, this is a connector that we have studied before. Uh, if and only if. Ang, exa ang uh, equivalent nito sa symbol, kung natatandaan nyo, yun yung may double-headed arrow. So, kahit na ito yung unahin mo, equal din siya dito sa una. O kung ito man yung basahin mo, equal din siya dun sa second part of the sentence. So, if and only if, each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. So, ito yung... Uh, uh, ibig sabihin nung itong mahabang uh, statement na to or part of the statement, each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. Ayan yun. Each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. For 1 less than or equal to I, less than or equal to M, and I less than or equal to J, less than or equal to and this this uh, terminology is just uh, we usually use it for mathematics. Ito yung mga general terms or uh, general expression. Parang sinasabi na natin sa kabuuan kahit na anong klasing matrix pa yan. Gano man kalaki yung A, gano man kalaki yung B. Magiging equal siya kung yung element ng A ay equal sa element ng B. So, as an example, our matrix A has elements 1, 0, negative 4, 2. And our matrix B has elements A, B, C, and D. Take note that they have the same dimension. So, hindi pwedeng mag maging equal yung matrices na may magkaibang dimension. Kahit pasabihin na natin, oh, okay, this is a square matrix and this is also a square matrix. So, kung ito ay 2 by 2 at ito naman ay 3 by 3, they cannot be equal even though they have, uh, they are the, uh, they are uh, square matrix. Pareho. Yung A square, B square. So, hindi siya magiging equal. So, kailangan pag sinabi mong square, yung dimension nila pareho din. So, 2 by 2, tsaka 2 by 2. So, kailan mo sasabihin na equal nga sila? Eh, number 2, tapos to letter 2. Magiging equal lang sila kung, sabi niya, kung Yung A ay equal sa 1, yung B ay equal sa 0, yung C ay equal sa negative 4, at saka yung D ay equal sa 2. Alin mang dito ang maging iba dun sa kapartner or corresponding number niya, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na A ay equal sa B. Kailangan daw sabi, each element of A is equal to the corresponding corresponding element of B. So, yung positioning niya din, importante. So, if this is nasa nasa row 1, column 1, kailangan yung row 1, column 1 din ni B ay pareho niya. So, A should be equal to 1 or 1 is equal to A. So, ganun din yung sa susunod. So, if 0 is in the uh, position first row, 
second column, kailangan itong B, which is in uh, first row, second column, maging equal din siya sa 0. So, yun yung ibig sabihin nung uh, each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. So, yun lang yung ibig sabihin nung uh, two matrices are said to be equal. Kailangan yung laman nila ay parehong-pareho yung uh, elements. So, uh, for now, dyan muna natin tatapusin yung ating video. Um, mas mahihirap yung mga susunod kasi we're going to perform matrix operations. That's the reason uh, ano, kinakat ko yung videos natin. So, next time, we are going to perform operations of matrices. Thank you sa panonood. Why you gonna do like that? Why you gonna keep that thing from me? Why you gonna do like that? Why you gonna act like you don't know me? Huwag niyo pong kalimutan na mag-like, subscribe, and share ng video ito. At kung meron pa po kayong mga gustong tanong o mga topics na dapat na-discuss ko, please comment down below.